Good morning, love squad. This is your girl, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I just woke up. Uh, so this is day three post, um, uh, you know, post surgery of my back surgery or whatever. Um, this today I'm not feeling like as sore. I mean, my back does hurt or whatever, but it's not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday I didn't record because my back was like on fire. But that's because I wasn't like hitting the exact time it would take in my medicine because the medicine makes my stomach hurt and it makes me so sleepy and stuff like that. So I was just, I was just going through it. Um, but anyway, so my husband, he's like, he already went to work. So today I'm pretty much like, I mean, my kids are here or whatever, but I pretty much have to do a lot of stuff myself. But I know, like, my limits and what I still can and cannot do. Um, like, one of my doctor, one of my daughters has a doctor's appointment. So, my other daughter is going to drop us off there and pick us up when we're done. And then I need to go by Kroger and pick up my pain medication. I need to go by this mailbox place um, and um, do some stuff there. I need to... Go buy somewhere else. I need to go buy. I need to go buy the grocery store, um, and get some stuff. Whatever. My husband told me to make a list, but I never made the list so that he could pick it up. But I never did that, or whatever. Um, and then tomorrow I need to try to go buy the ortho place because my one of my daughters who has braces, like one of the things you know, the braces that's like glued to their the tooth it's loose and moving around so now her tooth is like not is shifting so i gotta try to go to the ortho place tomorrow when it open i could go today but they'll be in the middle of doing their shift and appointments and i like to go right when they open so that you know they can go ahead and hurry up and fix it and she can be in and out and then um what else i gotta do this week uh friday that same daughter who has braces um she goes to get her permit so um i gotta have my daughter take me uh to the dps place so that she can go get her permit so yeah but i mean it's just only thing that sucks about it is that i can't drive whatever and i don't like i don't like having to depend on somebody else to take me somewhere but you know it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do so um right now i'm about to make up the bed the best i can it's still kind of hard because like to lift and to try to pull and stuff like that it's a lot um i'm gonna do the best i can it is what it is i'm a person where every morning when i get up i have to make up my side i have to make up the bed or whatever so um i'm gonna do that brush my teeth wash my face and get dressed and um then by that time um we should be ready to go i'm gonna make sure i take some medication because it's gonna be a lot of walking and my daughter's car it sits pretty low to the ground i'm used to driving my suburban that sits up higher so to have to get in her car that sits lower and then have to try to be getting out that's going to be a lot on my back. So I'm definitely going to have to have some pain medication on board. Um, I'll probably eat an apple. That way I have some food on my stomach. Um, I need to make sure I drink my uh, detox juice. And take my um, apple cider vinegar gummies. And all my other stuff or whatever. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, I just finished making up my side of the bed, so now I will proceed to make up my husband's side of the bed. I'm just going to straighten it up because making up my side of the bed was hard enough, <laughs> and then my back started hurting, so I'm just going to um, 
I'm just gonna tidy up my husband's side of the bed and let that be that. So give me one second. Okay, so I'm done straightening up my husband's side of the bed. So now I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face. Yep. And I don't use anything like I know I see, I've been seeing a lot of people that use like all this type of stuff on their face, like I don't use like a whole bunch of stuff on my face. It's, I'm real like, um, I use, oh, oh my gosh, let me see. I, I literally use one thing on my face in the morning. I don't put a whole bunch of stuff on my face. Sometimes at night, but I'll do another video on it. Uh, Yo, I look crazy. I have these like um <laughs> I have these like socks on. I have to wear these compression socks or whatever. Like when I'm laying down, I have to wear these um compression socks or whatever. So but yeah. So the only thing that I use to wash my face, well, I use this in the morning. I literally use this clean and clear, deep action, exfoliating cleanser. That's all I use for my face. Only time my face like breaks out is when my period is about to come. And this time, I don't know, my period was on something else because it broke out right there, there, there. But now, since my period is going away, it's in its last days, it's starting to clear up. So, yeah, so... I'm about to wash my face and brush my teeth. So, hold on. Like, look at my face. I did my eyebrow right there. Did my hair trying to go back? But yeah. So once I wash it out the first time, I use hot water. And then the second time, I use cold water so that it closes the pores. But other than that, that's the only thing I use on my face. I'm gonna be using a whole bunch of other stuff and piling it on because I already have oily skin. So, I already have oily skin, so I'm gonna be doing all that. And yeah, it works for me. You gotta do, you do what works for you. We do what works for me. I got a bump right there, but that's because Baby, a uh, flow came, but that's okay. She packed her bag. She get ready to leave. So yeah. So now I'm about to do something with this up here. Normally on a regular day, y'all, I don't do nothing with my hair <laughs> uh, because it'd be so hot in Texas. This Texas heat. I try to at least put like some rose water. I had bought some rose water um, and I had put some vitamin E inside of it. Um, and I be spraying my hair with that. And of course, like my edges right here, baby, they, they gone. They went, they went on vacation, they didn't even tell me, okay? Um, and that's why for the most part, I don't, I don't pull my hair up a lot. I just let them be down so it doesn't create a lot of tension on my edges. Um, and I had got some of that kaleidoscope oil. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Comment down below if you've had if you have that oil and if it worked for you. I don't know. If for me, it's like it's really like watery. 
So it's not like, you know, if you've used wild hair grow before, um, now that's a thicker, thicker like oil, but the kaleidoscope is more watery. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to use the bottles because I bought them, but can I really say that it like actually helped my hair grow? I don't know. And I, I mean, and I have like, I have thick hair, like, you know, my hair will grow. Like my hair used to be in the middle of my back. But after I had my first surgery, the anesthesia just started making my hair grow out. Like, I mean, my hair come out. Like my hair was like thick or whatever. Um, but the anesthesia is no joke. Like it will make your hair thin, come out and all that stuff. And when it started doing that, I was just like, what do I do with my hair? And so my best friend, she, um, she had locks and I was just like, shoot, I might as well lock it up. This is by Heritage Store. It says Rose Water Refreshing Facial um, Mist. But I use it for my hair. Okay. I'm pretty sure you do the same thing whether you use it for your face or for your hair. Serve the same purpose. I don't know how much I made for this. It ain't that. It's cheap. It's probably like $5 or something. And so like I said, I, um, which I don't hardly have any stuff in here, but I got this and then I had got like a small thing of vitamin E and I added it to this bottle and I just mix it up or whatever and um, spray it in my hair. I don't spray it in my hair every day. Also to it, sometimes I'll put like leave in, um, I'll put Pantene, I'll show y'all in a second. Let me put this in there first. Sometimes I do spray it in my hair. I don't like, I do not like spraying my hair with this stuff because it get all on my face and my face is already oily. I barely have some in here. My friend, she told me about this. She would touch my hair. She'd be like, oh my God, your hair is so dry. But like, don't be putting nothing on this. I'm about to add some water to it. <laughs> Because it's hardly nothing in here. So we're gonna add a little bit of water to it. It ain't gonna hurt. Add a little bit. Then I'll just order some more. Shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go. And I, read, I used to retwist my hair like literally like every every four to six weeks because my hair grows like and I be having to grow that fast but I'm trying to make it to at least like before my birthday I'm gonna have my daughter retwist it because on my birthday I don't wanna you know I was gonna say it don't look bad but I don't know because they said that if, like if, the more you be retwisting your hair like it'll start thinning, baby. Who got time for that? My edge is already. I be thinking I got alopecia of the edges or something. So, but I really don't have to be doing too much to my hair. I like it. It's low maintenance. Cause when I had my natural hair, I mean, I wish I could find a picture. I mean, my hair used to be like, it was a lot of hair. It was thick and hot, so. Yeah, so we sprayed it with that. As it is so hot in Texas, I do um, put this Pantene Pro V Nourishing Conditioner Coconut and Coconut Milk and Shea Butter. It doesn't have dyes, parabens. So I'll put a little bit of this on my hand and just kind of rub it throughout my hair. I leave it in there or whatever. Do what you want to do, but I do what I do. Cause I know my hair, my hair dries out really like, it dries out really bad. I know some people probably like, you got to wash that out. Mind your business, do what you do. I'm gonna do what I do. Uh, so, I just kinda, just so, especially like when you color your hair, like your hair needs to be moisturized. And because I put the rose water on there, I'm gonna put like some type of, conditioner in there because the rose water has oil so 
So yeah. But hey, by all means, do what you do what works best for your hair. Cause I'm gonna do what works best for my hair. Okay. I just need Jesus to go and work out a miracle for his edges. Okay. His edges, cause I I don't know. Y'all have some oils that y'all use that help y'all edges. Please comment down below what y'all use, cause this right here, I don't know if this right here really works. It's the um, it's the kaleidoscope. But it is cause okay. So when I ordered it, I ordered a two pack. But like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna order. I say is and this is the extra strength. So like extra strength, I should have some extra edges. And by now, and I don't, I do not have those. But like I said, I'm a, I'm gonna be more consistent with putting them in. I put them in yesterday, and they said like two to three times a week. So I'm going to um, start putting them in two to three times a week. And I just kind of, once I do my edges, I just kind of drop them around all over my hair because the edges is the main thing. The rest of my hair. The rest of my hair is not an issue, but it may be these edges. I'd be like, what? And I guess they'd be going on vacation, but like, maybe ain't nobody tell y'all to go nowhere. Y'all done packed up and left. Tell myself, we'll be back. So, still, yeah. So then I just, like I said, I just drop it. All throughout my hair, all particular spots. I rather put oil in my hair in the daytime than at night because at night, even though I wear a bonnet, I feel like it gets all over my face and stuff. So, and then after that, I just kind of massage on my scalp. Massage. <sighs> yeah, back hurts. Oh, it's a little bit dry. I already took my medicine, but my back hurts me. It's the most I've done. Hubby's gone. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, the hair's old. Okay, y'all, this one, I don't know, this might like he don't have a home. Let's throw this one somewhere back there. Okay, just throw it somewhere up in there. Okay, so then for my edges, I don't put this on my, I don't put this on my edges every day. But if I want to put something on my edges, lay it down, I do use this um, braid gel. It works really well. So what I do is I just literally take it. Only thing about it is I have oil on my edges, so I ain't gonna take that good. Just so they don't look like too janky and nappy. A little bit. Not too much. All right, my guys. I just want my Jamaica shirt. Jamaica. I went there for my 40th birthday. It was so much fun. I wanted to go to Las Vegas this year for my 41st birthday, but maybe it's too much going on in the month of August. Taking my daughter to Gremlin, then coming back, moving my son into his apartment. Then the other girls already haven't started school. I was like, guess we're going to be here. My husband asked me, what do you want for your birthday? I was just like, 
go eat something somewhere. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not like, I'm not a person where it's just like, oh, you know, can you go buy me this? And I mean, I do like a nice coach bag. I'm not, but I'm not into like, oh yeah, can you go take me here, take me there? I like to eat. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it 100. 100. My husband be like, 100. I like to eat. Take me to a nice restaurant. My favorite food is. My favorite food is chicken. And then after that is seafood. So we're going to a seafood restaurant. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty simple, easy lady bag, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know we have a lot of things that we need to take care of. And you know, I'm not the wife that's just like, and I expect you to buy me all this, this, this. Cause it's just like at the end of the day. I know. You know, when you have kids, you have to know what's priority and things like that. And the white stuff is so expensive nowadays. It's just like, you know, sometimes as adults, we have to understand like, hey, while we have to, you know, do certain things that makes us happy as well, you have to know when to be like, yeah, not this go around. Because like I said last year, for my 40th, my husband took me to Jamaica. So, you know what I'm saying? We had fun, we had a blast. So this year it's just like, we have two that are in college, you know, two that are in high school, one is in elementary, you know, my son, like I said, my son's getting an apartment, my daughter, we gotta go move her down to Gremlin. So it's just like a lot. So, you know, sometimes you have to know, you have to also be financially smart too, or whatever, that don't mean like, you know, we broke nothing, but you know what I'm saying? So I have to be financially smart or whatever. And there's nothing like major that I even that I even want. So it's just like you know, some people just be thinking of stuff they don't even need just to get something. I'm not that person. Um and then me and my husband we do this thing where it's just like, okay, if you know, I can't like when it comes to his birthday Whatever he say he won't, that's the only thing I can get him. Because normally I'd be, I'll get him extra. And I'd be like, oh, that's from the kids. No, it's like me throwing that in there. But I can't do that or whatever. So we, we make the, like, we'll make agreement like that or whatever. But, you know, just being on the same page uh, when it comes to that. But, yeah, so... My birthday is August the 1st, I'll be 41. <laughs> Normally, uh, I celebrate my birthday all week. <laughs> my youngest, I'd be like, uh, you have to tell mommy you have a birthday every day. And she would, she'd be like, really mommy? She'd tell me every day. But yeah, so. August the first is around the corner. Your girl will be forty-one. <sighs> Y'all, this is all I do for the most part. I just put on some mascara and some lip gloss. I barely, I know y'all probably see, I barely have eyebrows. I don't know if I have alopecia of the eyebrows or what the case may be, but. I looked into this stuff called it's like microblading or something. It's kind of expensive though. Um, it's like some service I saw where it's like six hundred to like eleven hundred dollars. I said, "Whoa, baby!" I said, "Wait a minute!" I said, "Let me see what mountains Jesus can move first with these eyebrows before I go pay that good I don't be one to be too quick though, you know. Been that much money. Let me see, cause I I I was putting some of that kaleidoscope oil on my eyebrows as well, cause I was like, ooh, let me see if the um, kaleidoscope oil will grow my, <laughs> grow my eyebrows or whatever. I don't know if it worked or not. I mean, I used to have really thick eyebrows. On this eyebrow, this girl tooth had hit it, cause we our heads had bumped to her, 
uh, her tooth here, so I have a dent right here. And I don't know what happened with this side. I guess this side wanted to match this side and the hair just started going away. I don't know, but I'm just like, bruh, what are we doing here? So, we're going to try wild hair growth and some kaleidoscope oil first before I go anywhere and pay between $600 and $1,100. Or if anybody in the DFW area knows a place where I can go for my eyebrows that is cheaper, let me know. I need to do something in this spot right here. My hair starting to grow back right there. But yeah, y'all, that's all I do. I don't put nothing else on my face. Mascara, lip gloss. All the other stuff, it might be my face itch or something. I don't know what this, what this piece right here. Just try to shape it up. I don't do too much to it because it's barely in the hair. Oop, it's barely in the hair, so. I don't do too much, but I can tell when it starts like trying to grow back. But yeah, see now you you can still kind of see it, but it is what it is. Hey y'all, that's it. I don't do too much. It's just, I just try to stick with my the natural beauty. That's it. Mascara is only, it's a lip gloss. It is. Now, I just need to put on some perfume. I don't know what I feel like smelling like today. Hmm. I was thinking Valentino, but sometimes Valentino, because it's so strong, it makes my head hurt. So... We're gonna put on this today. Sexual by um, this person. <laughs> See? That is not good. I only have a little left. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I have one daughter. When she spray body spray, baby, she's spraying her feet everywhere. It's just like you can't get her real perfume because. Like, you know, the body mist or whatever, because she gonna spray all of it up. Real perfume. It's just like, girl, you don't need, girl, you don't need that much. But yeah, so, let's see. Because it's probably time for us to get ready to go. Oh yeah, so we're about to get ready to head to my daughter's doctor's appointment. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, so tell me why, um... You know, got up, got dressed and ready to go take my daughter to a doctor's appointment. I went to the wrong location and all that. I was like, <sighs> so I had to um, reschedule her appointment for another day, which she'll go on August the 2nd. Because I'm trying to get all this done before she goes back to school. And I had totally forgot that for her appointment it was at a different location because the location that we went to today my other daughter had went to that location and when i had scheduled the daughter that i was taking today to the doctor i had forgot that i had scheduled hers and hers was at a different location because that appointment was going to be sooner than it would have been if i had scheduled it at the same location that my daughter had went to and the woman was like oh she's not scheduled here it was at the other location i was like damn it <sighs> I was so upset or whatever. I mean, I really was upset, but it's just, it's annoying. Like, you know, it's just like, you know, you be thinking that, oh, yeah, you know, you're going for an appointment. And it's just like, you know, you got the dates mixed. Not The dates wasn't even mixed up at the location. I was at the wrong location. I was like, dang, but um, she is rescheduled. So, yeah. Um, I still haven't ate anything. My back kind of semi is hurting. I did take some medication this morning, so it's just kind of like I'm drowsy. I was able to go to um, my mailbox or whatever and um, 
take care of that and check to see if there was mail there and it was a few pieces nothing much so i got that taken care of i need to go to kroger and get my medication um i need to go to kroger and get my medication i need to go to all these i need to go to walmart there's so many places that i need to go but my daughter you know how like you ask kids to do stuff and they be like, okay, but you can tell that they really just don't want to do it. It's just like, girl, at the end of the day, if I could drive, I would be driving myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You want to be asleep. I get it. You don't want to drive me around and be my chauffeur for the day. It's, it's crazy how kids, like, when it's time for them to do something for you. And I get it. It's not all kids. But some kids, like, be, like, sometimes be funny acting or whatever. But then when they need you to do something, mama, daddy, don't call my name. Don't know. Let me return that same energy back to you. But then if we was to do that, then we got to, you know, they feel a type of way. Why can't you and all this, this and that or whatever. So I may just let my other daughter, um, drive me to the store only thing with that is it'd be kind of stressful because she learning how to drive or whatever that's the one who you know getting her permit so she's learning how to drive and i don't want to be trying to teach anybody how to drive at this particular point in time today so but she would have no issue with doing it because of course she's driving or whatever and the place I need to go they're pretty close so it's not like they're far away but it's just like I just have to be more alert and stuff like that and I'm just not there but I think my son has to work today so on his break I may have him run me up to Kroger so I can get my medication um because he he can't like he can't pick it up it has to be somebody over the age of 21 to get it um i was thinking about doing instacart but i'm just not one of them people like i don't want somebody else picking out my groceries because mm -mm, they just pick out anything or whatever i was thinking about it but i was like mm. like my neighbors across the street they get instacart all the time but it's just like I actually, I don't mind sometimes going to the store and picking up myself. Sometimes there'll be so many people there. Sometimes there don't be enough cashiers there or whatever. But a lot of times I do self-checkout so I can go ahead and get in and get out because the lines be too long and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I don't know, but this medicine has me so, like, sleepy. And it's just like, I don't want to be sleepy, but I mean, I do need to, you know, I have to, I have to tell myself that I need to rest because I'm the type of person I'm so used to like, go, 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 like go, you know what I'm saying? So for me, this is hard to just be like laying down in the bed, resting, like not doing nothing. It's super hard because I'm just like, I'm always on the go. I'm always doing something. So, you know, I don't know. So... Yeah, I may turn on TV and watch something. I may just take a nap. I don't know. I need to figure out if I may get something from the store. Um, my husband did tell me to make a list, and that um, and that he would get it. But I don't know. I feel like I'm getting a headache. I haven't ate anything, but it's not really anything that I really want to eat. I'm not too hungry, so. I don't know. My eyes are dry. I don't know if you get dry eyes. If you, you know that commercial, if you have dry eyes. <laughs> uh, I need to look on the school website to see what my daughter needs for a school supply. That's what I could be doing while I'm laying here. Because I have a lot, I have a lot of school supplies because we do have a nonprofit and it's called Contagious Love Foundation. We haven't really did much with it lately because it's just, we haven't, life just been going on and, um, um, you know, we didn't have grants and things like that. A lot of times stuff, you know, things that we were doing was coming out of our pockets and, you know. We just didn't have the money to, you know, do it or whatever. Just being honest and transparent. 
Um, so I do have a lot of um, school supplies. So it may be a lot of things that she don't even need. So I really need to look on a list to see what are the school supplies so I can go and see what she does need and um, go ahead and um, figure that out. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't mind eating some egg drop soup from this place. It's called Skillman Walk. It is so good, y'all. But I'm not also, also, I'm not trying to be laying up in the bed eating food and getting fat. Like, I'm already a big girl. And before I had surgery, I was like exercising, exercising because I was trying to lose some weight. But I'm not trying to be in the bed, like eating food and getting fatter. Cause my face, like I feel like I'm just swole. And it may be for my surgery, but it just may be because I'm a fat girl. But I'm just not trying to be eating a whole bunch of like snacks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because I didn't have surgery, like absolutely not. I need to make sure I drink uh, enough water today. So yeah, I have a headache. I probably need to eat something. Um, I may eat some oatmeal. That sounds pretty good. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll get back with y'all a little bit later. Goodbye. What's up, guys? This is the next day. There was nothing really going on. The rest of the day is today. Look at my doggy. Scarface. Scarface. Stop looking like that. Um. Right now, we are on our way to the ortho. Say hi. Yeah, she be tripping, so I don't want to be saying hi to the camera. Because one of her, I don't know, some type of bracket thing came off, so she has to get it glued back on. Huh? Girl. Jada not here? Yeah, so we are on our way to the ortho so she can get this thing put back on her tooth or whatever. I thought it wasn't going to take a long time, but they was like, they got to prep the teeth and all that type of stuff. So, and this child is trying to drive and I don't know if I have the, the patience to deal with all that. Y'all look at the, look at the ice cream man. Mr. Ice Cream Man. Hi, Y'all look at Who said, what said you about? Ain't nobody got time. <sighs> Yo. Y'all pray for me because I don't know if I'm up for this child driving me somewhere or whatever. But we'll see when we get to ortho. So here we're at the ultimate place. So yeah, I went back to brush. So yeah. For real. <laughs> Stop, okay. <laughs> you That's why you're recording. You love, y'all. She's tripping. I can't even her. sit without you recording. <laughs> Sister Maya. I don't even make her all day. That's your phone. Ooh. <laughs> Talk to that. Let me get another one of these mouth washers. Did it already. Oh, open up my purse. Stop. That hurt. Help me open up my purse. Then put the camera there. Stop. What are you doing? Why'd you eat when we got home? Because I was tired. Y'all, she slept until like. You, you slept until like. <laughs> she only do it because when we got in the car, I, I had told her I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when that. they come to the ortho, Stop. when they come to the ortho appointment, they'd be like, brush. <laughs> and they had like this free um, mouthwash on the counter. And she like, make sure you grab it. a mouthwash. She needs it. That's why she's so she mad because I had told her to grab a mouthwash. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to get some fries for a dollar with Donald's. I got a dollar. She always wanted to eat McDonald's. I, I told her it. she needs to work there because they be. This is one of their value customers. <laughs> stop. Stop. You're making me lean over. Then stop messing with me. Stop <laughs> leaning with the camera. Uh, Mom. Please. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> anyway, y'all look at this setup. It's it. 
Yo. Yeah, flip that if camera. He, if he needs to come to Ortha Adonis, Dr. Matthew is the one. Mm hmm. But I need to come home because my back is hurting. Hurting. And I run out of pain she medication does, tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. Y'all, she's talking about my toes. First of all, I can't look at my hair. Let me see. She got new growth on her toes. <laughs> she's talking about I got new growth on my toes. First of all, I can't even. Look at No. Look at that camera. Stop. Look at that camera. So. She got about an inch of new growth. I'm not even talking about your hair. I just said you could see the grease. So then you start talking about my toes. First of all, I can't even go to the place because I just had surgery. Why you can't? Why you do a sit down? <laughs> I know, but sitting for a long time makes my back hurt. Or whatever. They got back massage. I don't want the thing. Okay, so you want something punching in your back that you you just got cut open? What sense that make? Okay, but y'all, she said my toes have new growth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're not funny. Like you're not funny at all. I don't know why she want to be comedian of the hour. Y'all finna get tattoo. She's fine. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> she need to worry about focus on the toes, not me. <laughs> she need to worry about getting them school clothes and, and school I, shoes. Yeah, and I'll get Ooh, where your hand been, bro? Yesterday was my first time. Bridge your We happy about that. You need to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the applause thing on there. You're not putting none of this stuff in this part. How much you want it? Put your hand up like this. Come on, let's do it. No. Time. Come on. <laughs> she act like she didn't want to do it. She did. Yeah. You got them. You got them. You got them. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but she count was in my purse. I don't have no twenty five dollars in my in purse. In cash, you do. No, I don't. It's at home. <laughs> it's at home. I promise. You said you had a dollar for a dollar fry. Whatever. She got some twit. Stop! Yeah. Oh, they got yeah. all in my bag. Yeah. Yeah. But I, mean, I don't have any like additional. Oh, How can yeah. you just put any on there? Ma, I'm hungry. What they got to do with me? It's food at home, but she always want to eat fast food. No. Oh, we got this person. Look at my thing. Oh, Show them how you move it. That's what she has to get fixed, y'all. She has to get that put back on her too. Unless she bit it. Oh, how you do it? I don't even know. I was like, why does it feel weird? And then I saw. Okay, fine. Ma, stop. You just put the camera on your face. This is not. You like made it to my to our brushing area, so you can kind of get this them in your window. This is not me, you walk, it's a year ago. Yeah, uh, you're a part of it. You look like you just woke up and you're about to clean some characters. Mm -hmm. You know the lady where she like real strong and she got that thing wrapped around her head? Stop it. That's what she look like. But you're cute though, girl. Oh, for real. Please okay, okay, okay. y'all. I'll get back to y'all when we get back there in the chair when we get her teeth together. Camera. Goodbye. Yes. Oh, so she be doing her own lashes because she gonna go to the school after she graduates to be an esthetician, okay? So she be wanting to practice lashes on me, but I was like, you know what I'm saying? If you put lashes on me, I don't want to be bald headed by the eyelashes because you putting the, if your lashes come out. Because if y'all can see, like, y'all can see my lashes, right? Like, <laughs> look at yeah, she, so, so I got eyelashes. But y'all, she still got them. They just curly. I don't. They just kind of like have a meeting, but everybody bent over and no. one sideways or whatever. They're not straight out. out but they so used to being curled up. But you still have eyelashes or whatever. That's why when she was like, Mom, let me do your eyelashes, I'll be like, I need some food and then lay down so I can be ready for Y'all, she got to go to work before. She thinks she's going to go back home and get another nap. Absolutely not. Oh, my God. Huh? Man, I'm going. Oh, no, we'll be back in a second. What? Put the peace sign in.
Guys, she's all done, but she doesn't want to smile for the camera. Show them where they fixed it. Ooh, it's all bright now. Guys, we are back from the ortho. And I'm back at home. I have a headache. Hubby is here on the bed on his phone. What up, though? Looking at videos. <sighs> so, I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to lay down because my back is hurting so bad. I'm about to take some medicine. I already ate. Earlier, I ate um, my friend. She made me some mushroom spinach quesadillas. It was bomb. I ate that with some uh, fried okra. So now, yeah, I'm just about to lay down and chill because at the end of the day, I need to rest. I've been busy today. And so I need my rest or whatever. So, yeah, I'm just about to lay down. And um, I really need to honestly go to the store, but I don't feel like it or whatever. But, yeah, I'm about to lay down. I'll get back to y'all later. Peace. Guys, I just got up. <laughs> we had dinner. We had chicken and some Okra, oh, come in. Check one, my husband. Y'all see my towel, boy? Look at my son. Y'all, this Jada Mac. Visit him at his channel or whatever. Subs you know, make sure y'all subscribe. Stop moving okay. away. <laughs> What's going on? Don't move away. I don't know. I ain't got time What is this? That quick? What's that? Guys, this is Jada Mac. Make sure y'all go to his channel. Subscribe. But yeah, so this is the end of this vlog. My husband is trying to do his stuff. Aslan has just come in the room. Say hi. Hi. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when we post more videos. And we are out.